Good morning and welcome back to another video and today is another day of the Zero to Gold Cap Challenge. Now just stick around and enjoy the video. Okay, so today I have been farming up in Winter Grasp. Now, this isn't my normal route actually. I used one of the routes from one of our Discord members and I've, his name escapes me. But aside from that, let's just have a look at it right now. It's a slightly altered version than my own. Basically, instead of just curving round up round here, it's actually going over here. To be honest, this altered route's so much better than my own, and I, all the nodes are there when we do a complete lap. There's no overlap of like additional nodes that haven't respawned yet, so it's just perfectly balanced. This farm is absolutely amazing, and I'm going to pretty much export it, and I'm going to import this into the worth it baseline now. Definitely so much more better to do overall and you actually get more uh, and you actually get more materials per hour. This one's saying 12,500 we actually got 15,000 so we got an extra 3,000 gold just by a slightly altered route. That's why different types of routes are always best to test out and see if they are better than the others because some are surprisingly a lot better and just by altering it in the same amount of time we've got an extra 3,000 gold than what worth it actually states. So I'm going to edit that and that is on the list of to-dos for the day. But aside from that, what I've actually done is I farmed up all of my stuff and I sent it over to my alchemist. Now I sent over all of the bars of Saronite, which here are my remaining ones, and pretty much just smelted those into bars and then used eight Saronite bars with my alchemist and then transmuted them into titanium bars. This means that I can get the titanium bars a bit more faster as compared to just farming up the all flat out titanium ore as we have to get 720 for our mechanized chopper crafts and that means we can then just move over and get the 360 titanium bars a lot faster as we've got 60 in an hour. So, that being the case, I edited Worth It for the My Farms, which is just about here. And it's the Mechanized Chopper Mining slash Alchemy. It's actually a decrease in value, of course, but that's not what we're really going for. We're not going for the gold per hour on this one because we're farming to craft. So, I edited it and I've gone with the titanium bars. Obviously, smelting them gets a loss and all that jazz. So, aside from that, not too bad, not too bad in general. And what we're actually going to be doing is we are going to be farming these up and now it gives us a good baseline in which how many hours I have to do to farm up all of the mechanized chopper titanium bars. Now we managed to get 60 an hour, we need 360, so divide that by each other and that means I have to farm around about 6 hours worth of titanium ore in order to get a hold of enough to make 10 mechanized choppers. Now 10 mechanized choppers will surely add up. Now. Obviously, the gold per hour is going to look a little bit different. The things we're really just using is the titanium bars and the Eternals, which aren't worth that much for the Eternal Earth. Eternal Fire is worth a great deal. Eternal Shallow is not worth an awful lot. But at the end of the day, if we're farming to craft and we're getting them in that farm, we're definitely going to save some gold overall. The rest of the stuff is just going to be bunged on the auction house and sold because still now, Wattle gems actually do still sell for some reason. So pretty damn happy on that and I've just been farming this up just continuously just to for the last hour just to make sure that we got all of our stuff so that being the case there is a titanium vein down there and I do not want to miss out on it we're just gonna fly down and just pick that up right there because we are not letting any titanium get away from us and that is two titanium ore. I'm pretty happy with that just pop it in there and then organize it as such so the next stage is to put this into our guild bank in order to just keep an eye on it to make sure that we've got all of our supply. We have a good amount for our restocks for the Vial of the Sands. That's been selling rather well. And then all we gotta do is then just farm up the... And all we gotta do now is I've got to double down on the Titanium Ore one because that's gonna take the most because it's gonna provide us with all... With the Wintergrass farm is gonna provide us with all four of our 
materials and then all we have to do is cobalt ore which is really easy to do and arctic fur which is just a cakewalk in order to get hold of so really the main focus for the 10 mechanized chopper crafts is most definitely going to be the titanium ore which i'm going to have to do continuously henceforth i've got a load of dark moon fire water and for my battle of the sands one i've got like potions of treasure finding coming out of everywhere now, that being the case, let's get on to the gold for the day. Okay, so the gold for the day is a healthy 73,235 gold. The things that are of note are 12 War Scrolls of Battle Shout, 1,368 gold. Uh, Tome of the Quiet Mind, 166 for 14,420 gold. Along with Frenzy Fangtooth, uh, 184, may have bought too many on my cooking craft and they were super expensive so I resold them and we've actually made our money back, so quite happy. The next thing on that is Glyph of the Sentinel, three of those for 2,788 gold, along with Glyph of Sparkles, which is 1,048 gold. The next thing of note is the Baked Porto Tattoo, and that is 100 of those for 3,765 gold with our cooking. And the other item of note is a vial of the sands, once again for 40,857 gold, equaling in a lovely 73,235 gold for the day. So, definitely making our money back. It's working quite well. Obviously, I've got to do some reposts because we've got a load of compendiums in here. Uh, highborn compendiums. They're selling really well. Um, yeah, just just genuinely very fast. The profit margin on these aren't that great, but we're still making a, a decent amount because we sell so many of them. So we're back up to 223,963 gold. Now, there is one thing of note that I didn't actually mention, and that is where did the other 100 odd thousand gold go? I've already sent over the gold to Dalla GG, my engineer, holding on to 125,000 gold for those 10 mechanized choppers so we can just buy all the materials and just get it all done. So pretty much I can have an overview of what I've actually got right there and what's coming in instead of having a look at the floating gold that we're going to be spending. So I took that out of the equation so we can see what's in our bags at the moment in time. So aside from that, pretty good day. I'm very happy with this. I've got quite a fair amount to do. I've been actually planning a, a nice little series coming up on TSM when it comes to crafting and all that stuff. Just a nice little, little, little nice snippet guys that I'm working on. So that's what I'm going to be working on today. Uh, aside from that, I've definitely got to double down on the farming of the titanium ore and the titanium bars because the Vial of the Sands is selling quite fast at the moment. And obviously I want to get into all of the other mounts as well. So we've got to actually pretty much one two three and i can just count it which is in my bag we've got six in the guild vault and we've got two on the auction house so that means we've definitely got to start getting our thing down because we've sold one each day for the last two days so that means i hope by that i've got eight days to farm up all the materials for mechanist chopper before i have to restock the vial of the sands or what i said in the video a while back is i have to have two on the auction house at all one time so I've literally got to start farming, re-farming the Vial of the Sands materials by the time I've probably finished the Mechanist Chopper, so I've got to get my arse in gear and start farming up Titanium more. So, aside from all of that guys, that's pretty much what all I have to say for the day. It's just a nice little farming session for the day, nothing overly that amazing, but yeah, that's basically what I'm going to be doing, just trying to get all the materials for the Mechanist Chopper for the next couple of days. Um, aside from that, have an awesome rest of the day and I shall see you in the next video, which will be tomorrow.